ज्ञान ज्ञानंजन श्लाकया चतुण विलित तस्म श्री गुरव वंशा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु वच पति वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रीमदाते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य गौरक्तिशे गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधकाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ता भक्तिया विनाय अपराध क्षेप्ताश्च कामितरंग मध्य कृपा मयी का शरण प्रपन्ना बृंदे नमस्ते चरणारिंद बृंदे यं प्रव्रजन तमनुपेतमेतृत दयीपायनो विरह कातरया जुहा पुत्रे तन्मयतया तरवो गिरीदो तंग सर्वोत्त मुनिमा तवैवास्मी न जीवा तया विज्ञाय राधे तंगय माम चरण वट इज प्योर भक्ति इन बुक ऑफ श्रीमद भक्ति नोट भक्ति तत्व दो इज लाइक बुक लेट बट वेरी पॉस All doubts will go, and we will know what is pure, love. and then we can engage ourselves in in the power of pure love. Then there will be no uh, there will be no chance to fall down. and continuously will go develop of the krishna i think in this modern days after shat krishna up to vishwana chakravarti thakur nalli bhakti gunu thakur is oh so very powerful uh acharya in this way and that is why he is called भगीरथ हो ब्रॉड भागी भागीरथी गैंजेस इन द शेप ऑफ द सेम फ्लो ऑफ भक्ति रिवर फ्रॉम रूप कृष्ण दैट इज वाई इज कॉल्ड सेवेंथ गोष्ण सो इट इज सो इजी टू रीड All the books of Jyotir Swami and all others are in Sanskrit and so rich language and some philosophical terms are there. It is very hard to know something. But from the books of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, the essence of all the Goswami are in the books of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. especially in jay dharma his jay dharma is the last book of shiva bhakti nota so he has taken all the essences in a very little part whole ocean of bhakti has been 
given in very little part. He has tried. And it is not so very hard to go through them. So, I think that it will be proper for you all that if you want to realize the writings of your Prabhupada, of the Vedanta Swami Maharaj, and Jiva Goswami and all others, first we should try to go through Jai Gautama. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has translated and he has explained explanations, Vashya, of all the books of Goswami. So when I joined Mutt, Guru Maharaj my, kindly suggest, suggested me to read first Jayuga Dharma. Now what I am telling only by the mercy of Bhaktivinoda Thakur through Jayuga Dharma. And then I read Srimad Bhagavatam, Satsang Darbha, all the books come. Govinda Bhashya and all the books of all Goswami. So, very easy the books of Srila Bhaktivinoda. So, in modern classes, I will try to give some essence of the literatures and all kinds of established truth in modern class. The process. Yes, explain to kinds of process. One taking and other giving. Those who are favorable, we should accept. And those who are unfavorable, we should give up. So in the teachings of Upadeshamrita by Yogosha, first he has told that what, should, what are unfavorable, they should be given. And what is favorable, is to accept Now I am coming in the sweet past tense of Krishna. I think that these are more powerful. More, more, more powerful. If anyone has pure shraddha, transcendental faith, and with that faith, anyone is hearing so, with so honor and so strong belief, this Harikatha, or from a powerful devotee who is uh, Vokya Nira, Nira, Niravi Bhakta. From Niravi Bhakta. There are two kinds of Bhakta. Bhakta means speaker. Niragi and Saragi. Saragi is those who have some worldly desires to give Some attachment in world. And by very Kathar, they want to test all these things. They are Saragi. If anyone hearing that Harikatha, momentary there will come something. But it will not be steady. It will go away. But those who are Niragi having no attraction to what they desire to taste all these things. And having some realization and his perfect end of Shastra, Prabrahmani Vishnu, and Prabrahma, and also in Shabda Brahma. Shabda Brahma is Srimad Bhagavad Krishna. And Prabrahma always engaging himself, observing himself in chanting, remembering, thinking, like this. Then he is Niragva. Like Shukadeva Goswami, Parikshit Maharaj, like Gadadhar Pandit, like others, Bhakti Vinodha. They are Niragva. Then there will be no chance of falling. Never, never. So, Harikatha will come through our ears, pure ears, 
and it will be in the shape of Krishna himself. And then he will clear our heart. And he will make himself a seed, very good seed there. And then we will realize it. So, before beginning our Shiv Bhagavatam, Sweet Haridatha, we will have to do prayer to Srila Sukhadeva Krishna. Yang Prabhrajan Tamanupe Tamape Takritam Dvai Panayana Virahakatar Ajaha Putreti Tan Maya Tarvo Vinedu Tan Vyasa Once uh, all the pure rishis and bodhis <coughs> assembled in Namisha. Kali was coming. It, Krishna has left this world with his all associates in Brajatwar and all. So all Kali was coming. So all that very fearful. What to do now? Time will come very hard. What should we do? And then in my time, Sud Goswami came there and he became Vyas to tell Harikatha. Shauna and about 88,000 of the Rishi in Moni, all at the assembled there. And they asked, especially for the human beings in Kali, these two, when all will quarrel among for worldly things, so many wars will go away. The human being, even male and female, will give up their religion and anything. All will be engaged in worldly matters, mating and all that. How should we do? What we should do? Kaise hamara kalyan hoga shreya? Yes, sir. How we will do it? Then he did it. Then he did this pranam and began to shiva. Yam prabrajan tamanu be tamabe takrityam I am doing Namaskar to my Gurudev, to Srila Sukhudev Goswami, who is all pervading. He is in atoms everywhere because Krishna is there, Radha Simati Radhika Kanjibhasa, everywhere on all atoms, trees and creepers. Even human body, everywhere there, there is no place where he is there. So to serve their, this conjugal, all the bona fide gurus are there. All bona fide gurus. In Paladev or Nityananda, always they are. Krishna without Baladev Prabhu never exists anywhere. So our Guru must be there. So Sutta Goswami is telling that my Guru there is all pervading everywhere, serving his consumers. So don't see that our Guru there is dark, dead. He never dies. If he is bona fide Guru, never dies. No question. So he is doing pranam that you are everywhere. Inspiring Krishna Bhakti, no. <clears throat> I know that. When you took birth, no ceremony was there. Not cutting off death. No jat karma was there. What is jat karma? 
very little good. We have seen in Nandagaon about thousand and thousand of Kadambati, Kadambakhandi there. Kadambatir also where? <coughs> Kadambatir where? Krishna used to take his fruit and climb on the top of that tree and he used to tell, Oh, Shamali, Gauri, Kalindi, calling all the cows, and sometimes in the midnight, Oh, Radhike, Oh, Lalite, Oh, Vishakhi, Oh, like they is called. This is called Kadamba Te. So everywhere. It's still now, but so many are had expired in the separation of Krishna and Radhika. So that sparrow came in Nandagam and sat on the branches of any tree, Tamal tree, because they like Tamal tree, because Srimati Radhika likes Tamal tree. And the collar both are like same and began to speak, utter Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. And Madhvangal was at that time played with Krishna. So Krishna then heard that go oh, from where Radhika came. And he began to search Radhika, where is Radhika? And calling me Krishna, Krishna. But he could not see. Then he saw on the tree branch that oh, very beautiful parrot with reddish nose. nose. Eh? Big. Big. Very beautiful. Eh? And he saw. Then he began to utter Krishna, Krishna. And after some moment he began to tell, I am so unworthy. So unworthy. And akritavya. Ungrateful. By nature, because we are birds. I was sitting on the palm of Srimati Radhika, always they are sitting there, giving ne and sweet advices and so much loving, loving, loving always. But I am so ungrateful creature that I left Srimati Radhika. And coming here, <coughs> five on me, five Krishna so, saw that, oh, she is lamenting, he is so much lamenting. He told that, come on, come on, in sweet voice, my dear parrot, come on, come on, come on. And seeing this, he at once came on the hands of of Krishna. He began to caress, caress, yeah. and tell that, Oh, so please tell what you are uttering. Then she began to talk. Oh, Krishna, Krishna. I am so unkind creature. I am so I am very low I am very low Unfortunate. And ungrateful. I was playing on the palms of Srimati Radhika and she was so much giving me so much honor, so many sweet things. And I have left her and I have come to here. So fine on me. Hearing this is slow. Kabi Karnapu has read. That is slow. Very beautiful. And he began to be that arrow. Krishna told that, oh, you have come to me. And he should repeat this time to time to me. I want to play with you. I want to also give rice and sweet and pomegranate sweets. Pomegranate. And you should be with me. When they were telling <coughs> Loving that parrot, at once two sakhis came, Lalta and Vishaka. There was so much worry for that parrot. 
They went to Krishna and told, Oh my dear Kanaya, this parrot is of Radhika. True. Its name is like uh, Bichakshan. Bichakshan. And he is very sweet to Radhika. This parrot is life and soul of Radhika. If you are taking this and keeping with you, she may die. So please at once give this parrot. I will, we will take it and give it. And she is so worried for this. He told, Krishna replied that, if it is your soup and your Srimati soup, then you can call and if he is going easily to you, you can take it at once. They try so much that, oh parrot, come on, come on, Srimati is calling you, but he was very peaceful in the hands of and sometimes calling Krishna, Krishna. Krishna that told that, it seems that this parrot is not your Srimati, it is mine. So you can call and it is going no more. But I will not give him in any case. He may go. They tried hard but failed. They entered in the council of Srimati Yasuda Devi and told, Oh Mother, Yasuda. And they do pranam, Yasuda told that, Oh, you seem very worried. Why you are so worried? They began to tell all the history <laughs> that the parrot of Srimati Radhika has come here flying and it is playing with uh, Krishna is playing with him and he is not giving us. So Radhika may die for this. She is so worried. She has left his uh, food and taken water, everything. So it must come to us, so that we can be returned to Srimati Radhika. Then Srimati, Yasoda told that, Oh my daughters, you should wait a little. Don't worry. And he at once went to Krishna and Madhamangal. And they were playing with that. Oh, you should repeat what you are telling and hearing and getting something to eat. In the man, Yasoda came at once and took the bird very forcefully. What you are doing? And to stoop the ear of Krishna twisting, or Nand Baba is waiting for you to take Mahaprasadam, and you are here with birds and so many animals, and you want to be animal, and birds, oh, this should come, and he took the hands of Krishna, uh, taking Krishna for safety. And Patumangal was telling, like she seeing what is happening. At once she came and visited here and he came in the room where the two girls were waiting and she oh take it. And at once he used to go there and then he returned. So you can think that how and who was this Shuk? But how he became in the shape of a man, this pair. You know that all the birds, all the serpents, all the animals, deers, everything of Krishna Lok are transcendental. All are transcendental. It has been written by Silaragna Das Goswami, Jatkin Chetani Golbaki Katamukam Goste Shamastamitta. Sarvananda Mukunda Daitang Lila Nukulam Param Shastri Rilbuhu Mohur Nishtang Kitang Yantya Brahma Dega Vishastri Hantato Sarvam Maya Idam Bandati Prabhnatha Goswami doing Bandana to all creepers, all trees, all the animals, even to a scorpion, even to snakes and all. Why? Oh, you are all associate, transcendental associate of Krishna. You can give Krishna please and Krishna and Bhakti, pure Bhakti. So I am praying to you all. Hmm? How a snake serves Srimati Radhika and Krishna Kanjuga? 
वन श्री मत्रियादिका वाज इन एंगर एंड ही वाज रेडी टू गो फ्रॉम कृष्णा टू हिज राधा कुंड फ्रॉम एनी वेयर इन गुवर एंड ही वाज स्टिकली गोइंग रिटर्निंग एंड कृष्ण वाज सो मच वरी फॉर दैट ही वांटेड टू स्टॉप राधिका नॉट टू गोइंग बट शी वाज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग विथ in mood to not to be with krishna so fancy was going uh, to three four, four yes. steps he saw that there was a very poisonous snake and when he saw simati radhika uh, from other side he told oh from from raising his horse and was, he was hissing Oh, Shrimati Radhika was so much afraid, and telling, "Oh, Krishna, Krishna!" And he ran, and he, no, he fell in the lap of Krishna. Krishna was fell. He could not do, but the serpent made Shrimati Radhika to again meet with. So, Lila and Kuram, so self helpful for all these things to. Each snakes and scorpions and all others are helping in Krishna and Radhika. Something anyhow. So what is big others? So all are transcendental in Vrindavan. We should have eyes to see this. So Shukadev Goswami was so proud of Sri Mati Radhika. When Krishna passed and swear, what samapt ho gaye? Yes. Completed, and he began to return to Guru Pinda with his all as usual. Then Sri Mati and Radhika told order this pair of that you should be in world. World needs you because when you will return to Guru Pinda, there will be none to say this word by Hari Katha. So you should be in this world, and to save this world by any method. He began to be very, very jealous or not? Bitter, bitter. How I can be without you, conjugal? I cannot be in this world. But they told that we will get empower you to be here and to. Speak Hari Katha if you are in this world, and after your work will be finished, you can come there. No problem. So they returned to Guru Vindavan, and Parrot was here. He was flying here and there, looking that where Hari Katha is going. Without Hari Katha, he cannot be. So. If there anywhere he was such in the places, he went in chaos. And where Shankar was telling some this Hari Katha Bhagavat Katha, how Krishna came to this world, and he was explaining to his wife Parvati Devi. From beginning he was she was hearing, and there on the on a branch of. Of a tree, hiding himself, this parrot was there. He had Hari Katha. When in Shrimad Bhagavat in third canto, he was explaining how creation was done, how all kinds of things were made, and other things. No interest. She being a lady devotee, she slept. Hmm. But that parrot was very careful. He began to do hmm hmm. What more? What more? Very good. Very good. Go on. Go on. Like in the mood of in the first like a parrot. And Shankar saw that oh parrot is hearing everything and he went on to. But when tenth canto was completed, and again twelve and eleventh and twelve.
came. She walked and told, Oh, I'm, I was sleeping. I could not hear all these things. I want that. I request you to tell again. <laughs> then Sir cut off that door. I told all these things in vain. Hmm? But uh, I saw that you are doing hmm, hmm, go on, go on. Very good, very good. Who is doing so? No, no, I have not heard all these things. So he began to look that who has such that who was doing like this? Like Parvati's voice. And he saw that in the branch of a very green tree as a reddish having a reddish and that was a very good a very beautiful part. He took his final hand and began to fall. I will kill this part. <laughs> because being a unqualified person and he heard. In Gita or in Srimad Bhagavad, Krishna has told to Arjun in Gita that you should not tell this Srimad Bhagavad Gita to any un unqualified person. If you are telling that you will have felt some, so much offenses. So you should not. It will go without any fraud. So if you are telling all these things to any unqualified person, those who have no honor, you should not tell. So Srimad Bhagavad should not be told. But he, he is like a bird and he has heard, so I should kill. Otherwise he will be imitation guru and then he will be making so many yeah, offenses and problems and he will cheat others. So he wanted to kill. But at once that bird flew away and very nearer he came to Badrikashram. Though by, by air going only four or five miles but now, by bus or in vehicle or by on foot, we, it will take one month going there, so long distance. So in a moment he lived and Sankar took his dragon and began to follow. He was not so much durbal uh, in ordinary person. He also walked in the sky and he began to flew and he followed and the meantime that parrot came in the ashram cottage of Vyasthe where Vyasthe was explaining Samar Bhagavad same to his wife Bhitika Devi and she was hearing all these things like very carefully that it is like a nectar I am taking. So his mouth was some open. And at once that bird can enter in his, in his own. But there was no uh, pain or anything. And he heard for 16 years or 12, some no harm, 12 years or 16. I think that the Bhagavad is in, divided in twelve, so twelve years she heard. And after that Pyas they told, Oh who you are in the home of your mother? Now your mother is feeling some pain. Oh. Then she came, Shanta came and told. Uh, and searching there, Bhas they told, he did pranam to Shankar and Shankar did pranam to Rashi Prabhu. And then Pyasya told, what you are searching? Oh, have you seen any parrot coming here? Yes, yes, I have seen. But why you are searching? I want to kill that bird. Why? Because he has heard Srimad Bhagavatam being unqualified. <laughs> so I want to kill. Then began, they began to laugh. Oh, you, you know? What is the result of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam? Yes, I know. 
what? He becomes Ajar Amar. Immortal. Then if he has become immortal, how you can kill him in that part? You can kill. And he began to know. Then Sankar realized his whole mistake. And then he also began to laugh, and then he returned. Oh, Krishna has arranged everything. So, nothing to do. After that, after 20, um, 12 years, Vyasadeva requested that, Who are you in the home of your mother? How you are getting pain? You should come out of The boy in home told, I am so but I cannot come. I can come in this same moment when any powerful person will uh, take away this maya from this world. And that moment I can come. He told that I am powerful, I can do like this. I am taking whole maya from here. You should just come. He told that no, I have no faith. If Krishna will come and tell that, then I can come. At once, they asked, they remembered Krishna and Krishna came there. Then Krishna told, Oh, Parod, you should come down from your mother. Om. You tell them, who are you? I am Krishna. Oh, my namaskar to you. What you want? You should come. He told that I can come only and you will take this Maya from this world. What is this Maya? Maya. There are two letters in this word. Ma means no. Ya means Ya means what? You are realizing in this world. What you are thinking that I am this body, you are not this body. You are thinking that they are your father, mother, sister and all other things. And all belongs to you, wealth and animals and all the things. But your attachment to you with them, it is a wrong thing. So, Maya, don't believe in this. So, by the illusory power of whose maya is going on like this, that I am this body, these are minds, this is called maya. One fraction, one, what, prakash, manifestation of jog maya, this is maha maya. So if you will take maha maya, then I it will yes, you can come very quickly, I am giving time, that in a very soft sword, if some linseed sheets are there, and they cannot be there for uh, Even a fraction of a second. I'm giving time, and so you should come out. So Krishna did that. He at once came and run, began to run. And so they pushed him. They asked him, Oh, he's out of mind. He is transcendental. He is really qualified to hear Srimad Bhagavat that I have seen in my trance. So I want that this wife should be, this wife should study Srimad Bhagavatam with me. And then he should preach, preach everywhere in this world, Bhagavat Katha, by which all the By which whole world can be liberated. And they will have bhakti and thus Srimad Bhagavati will be preached in the whole world. Then that thinking this, oh my son, oh my son, he was born. This is the one good. Eh? She should, you should pay something too. Make a big face. Huh? Yeah. And if you 
you are not doing that, I will see that you are not married her.
stand? We had a stand for this. Really? Yeah, that was cool. Pretty sure. They gave it to us. And I, I believe I gave it to Tom Well, when they came in to LA, then they gave us two stands. One belonged to our mother. Let me just have fun. It was somebody else's turn. Then, Bhaiya Swara is following. Why not he was attached to his son? Because he wanted to initiate that war. And to, through him he wanted to preach Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam. It's a high class of it is the essence of all Ved, Upanishad, Puran, Shastra, Mahabharata, Ramayana, everything. Which is in Bhagavad is not even anywhere. And anywhere it is anything, it is, must be in Srimad Bhagavad. Nigam kalpataro galitanga phalam shukam khadam vritadavasan pivata bhagavatam rasamalajam muhot pavhuvibhav We will explain it after but I am going to. So Srimad Bhagavat is like essence of all Srimad Ved and Upanishad. Gita is only essence of Upanishads. Sarva Upanishad cow. That all the Upanishads are like cow and milk is Srimad Bhagavat, Gita. And Krishna is milk man. And bus, coffee is Arjun. And it is not for Malli Arjun for whole world. That means. But Srimad Bhagavat is the essence of all the Vedas, including Mahabharata, Gita, and all things, as a all. Gita is not Russia, but Srimad Bhagavat is Russia. Nigam Kalpatol Galita na Russian. Vedas are like tree. The Russia is there, but we cannot taste. If you are choosing, choosing, okay, talking the root of trees of mango, you are shocking branches, you are shocking uh, flowers, you cannot. If you are taking fruits of mangoes, green, not mature. Rush will not come. Pen will be ripen. And any parrot will smell and give it touch by the mouth. Or not all. It should be ripened so much. Then itself coming from its branch. Even in touch of air or without, when it will be done, it will come. Then it will be so sweet. And we can taste. So we cannot take it, this rush from the trees like Kalpa Briksh, Vedas, Upanishadas, Puran, even to Gita, that rush will not come. When it will come in the shape of Srimad Bhagavatam, and especially by the mouth of Sukadeva Goswami, who was he? He was associates of Radhika and Krishna. So it will be more sweet. So, <coughs> Sukadeva Goswami, he thought that Sukadeva Goswami is so qualified person in this whole world. I should make him study Srimad Bhagavatam. He should hear. I am not such anyone in this world who is qualified to study Srimad Bhagavatam. So he was doing that. Oshan, Oshan. 
but trees were ek. When he went some distance, some very beautiful Gandharas, wives of Gandhar, they were playing in the water, any pond, good pond. So many lotus were there, so fragrant air was blown. And they were naked and they were playing to each other, bring water like this. And in the meantime, Subhadeva Goswami passed. They never looked at They were playing. But when they were there, being aged so much, two, three hundred years, three hundred become some old, so much white beard and long ears hmm, with also white and he was fallen. Then they became some ashamed, they came out of pond, they took their garments and they on the hide hidden in any tree say and they were doing pranam to Bias. Bias they came nearer to them and asked, my dear, daughters, daughters, daughters. Yes, Why you are sent with me? I am so much old. And my son, his age is like twelve, he is naked. And he is going, you have no ascent for her. He, and now, why you are asking? You can come in my laps, like father and mother, more than that. And you are ashamed with me. They told that your son being at the age of 12, he was uh, nothing to ask with us. That who are you? You are uh, wood, wood or stone or anything. And he was in trance like that. And he was gone. And you saw that we are girls. And you are coming to me and asking why. So you have sense that we are ladies and you are male and we are female. So you have sense. What is same he that never knows that. What is same? Like this cloth, his body is there. Nothing to cover. This body is also like cover. So what is the use of cover to cover? So he is going, and we have no shame. But now, look at you. Oh, you are saying that you are you are naked, and after that you became covered. You are this body. That is why. <coughs> but Sukhdev Goswami went in the this very deep forest, like birds here and there. Next day, Vyas wanted to suck that pot and to bring. It. So he took one poem of Srimad Bhagavatam and took, gave it to the hunters that you should go and this is a very powerful mantra. If you will chant this mantra in forest, all kinds of birds and what you want, all will be collected. Very easy. So he should go. And he went and they began to, to shout this mantra. Varaha Pidam, Natavarabhu, Karnayu Karnikaram, Vidhradabhasa, Kanakapisham, Vaijayan, Eichmana. Randrana Venu Radhar Sudhaya, Muriyan Gopabindai, Bindarandam, Sabadaramanam, Prabhishat Vidhidato. This is the best slope for the people of Krishna. Krishna is going with legs and legs cows, with legs and legs cowherd boys like Dham, Shidham, Sudham, Vasudham, Sto, Krishna, Madhumangal, Shuval and all others, Arjun, Ujjwal, hmm? playing them, with them, and shouting sometimes, cows like, Dhiri, Dhiri, means, slowly, slowly, they are playing, not running here. Tiri, Tiri, oh, you want to take water? Tiri, 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 come on. And in the bank of this pond, to Jamuna. Niri, Niri, means, oh, you should take water. Choo, 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 <laughs> and drinking, 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 like this, eh? playing with the ball. All boys are clapping sometimes and dancing with Krishna. They are going one forest to another. 
Krishna, this cross are like very lightning. And his body is like Megrashya. Megrashya means new crop, not black. So much beautiful. Krishna is most beautiful, not black, but love. And new clothes, taking full of so much water here, as if water is going to show. And Banmala is there. Uh, Banmala means five or seven kinds of wild flowers. <laughs> And some Tulsi Manjari is there, and we are hammering on these. I mean, and uh, all the boys are Kanaya, 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 Jai Kanaya, Lalke doing this, and thus Krishna is going. And some food friends are there, and in fruit friends are there are 19 kinds of symptoms: Bajra, Bhaja, Ankush. Pataka and so everything is there. So he is doing now. This. Also Brahma and Pur Nomidhate Abrabhapse Talitambaraya Gunjavatans Parpachal Sanukhaya Sanukhaya Kalasaita Vetra Vishana Venu Lakshmasya Vidupate Pasupanga Jaya So many. But this slok is most powerful. Hearing this, he came at once. From where you learned this? Oh my Guru Devas. And so many birds came in their net. Then they became so happy and he told that, I want to meet your Guru Dev. But what is the quality? This is the shape of beauty of Krishna. But how merciful he is. I want to know. Then he went to Vyastri and we are very happy that so many birds have come in their name. And they told that a very beautiful boy came to us naked and he told that if that Krishna is so beautiful, what are these qualities? Then he told that you should read this slow and so many birds again will come. Then he told. Aho Vakiyam Stanakala Kutam Jidhan Sayagaya Tayaka Sadhi Lehe Gatin Tato Dhat Gajuta Kamba Dayadum Saranam Pradeva Kamba Dayadum Saranam Pradeva Oh, you want to hear? So you should repeat this in the forest. That Aho Bhakti in Stanakala Kutam, Aho Bhakti, the sister of Bhakarsu, that is Putana, he took so much strong poison in his breast and came in the shape of a very darling mother and he wanted to kill Krishna. He took at once Krishna in his other life and gave breast possibly in the mouth of Krishna. And Krishna shot that poison with her life. And he left his body and she would die. But Krishna was so merciful that he made her Atma so pure, so, so pure. And he gave the same mother. position mother. like mother. And she at once went to Golo Vrindavan, Golo, and there she became eternal life mother, Dhatri Gati. Dhatri means sometimes giving bread, milk to Krishna. So, Krishna is how merciful? So, in this world, those who, are, who have some intelligence, they should surely <coughs> do bhajan. Those who are not serving and having no devotional service to Krishna, actually they are like uh, a donkey without any heart. And their, leg, their tail is also cutting. 
tailless and hornless. Uh, especially that two legs have been cutting down. So these first all are like donkeys. Those who are not serving, uttering the name of Krishna, singing and then he heard at once he came and he came to Vyasa. Told I want to read, I study whole Srimad Bhagavatam. And he studied there. And now he is praying to Vyasadev. I was in the way of Nirvishesh Brahma. Nargunne Aparinishthita. I have so much fixed my intelligence in Nirvishesh Brahma. But this Nirvishesh Brahma is different from Sankar uh, Brahma. Sankar Sampradaya. Right? That Sankar Sampradaya are offender, but he was not offended. His Brahma has, was Nirvishesh, no Atta, no Shay, but so much uh, qualities. His Brahma is so merciful, but Shankar's nothing. Having no shape, no attribute, no power, nothing. Like zero of Bhagavad So much difference. And he began to study and after that he became so learned and so sweet knowing all the rasas. And then he came in the concept of Parikshit Maharaj and he was uttering Shiva. Go Praman. Panchatato and then Ma.